everybody. I'm so happy to see you again on this beautiful spring day. I am so glad it's finally spring after all that ice and snow that we had. Hope everybody's doing okay after being iced in for a week. Well, I'm just glad to be here and I hope you are too. And we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do some fun music and we're gonna do a couple of dances and we're gonna do a great story and I've got a craft to show you. So I'm Miss Janice, by the way, in case you don't know me, glad you're here. So let's all just stand up and we're gonna do a song that is a real oldie goldie. And by the way, I'm dressed in my rabbit pajamas today and there's a reason for that. I'll explain it to you later. So first let's do the tootie ta. Hit it, Miss Lorna. out there did too. Well, we have a very special holiday coming up and it's Easter. Easter is a special, special holiday in spring. So I've got a book for you. And when you see it, when you hear it, you'll know why I'm dressed like this. Why I have on my rabbit pajamas and rabbit ears. And the name of the book is Piggy Bunny. It was written by Rachel Vale, and the pictures were drawn by Jeremy Tankard. So let's read about Piggy Bunny and see why he's dressed like this. Okay, this page is the title page. The book was written by Rachel Vale, pictures by Jeremy Tankard, and it was published by Fiwell well and Friends of New York. So, Piggy Bunny, here we go. You ready? Liam was just like other piglets, except 
for one thing. I wonder what the one thing was that was different about him. Let's see. All the other piglets wanted to be pigs when they grew up. Liam wanted to be the Easter Bunny. Oh my goodness. Can a pig be the Easter Bunny, do you think? I don't know. Look, that's what he's thinking about. He can see himself hopping around, giving out Easter eggs. Let's see if he can turn himself into a bunny when he grows up. Liam tried to practice hopping. Uh-oh, look what happened to him, though. He fell on his tummy. He tried to enjoy salad. I don't think he enjoyed salad too much. He looks kind of like it's yuck. And he tried to deliver eggs. Uh-oh, he dropped one right here and broke it. He's trying to give one to the cat. He's not being too successful right now, is he? The Easter Bunny asked Liam's big brother, seriously? Yes, said Liam. You are a piglet, said Liam's big sister. Deal with it. I am dealing with it, said Liam. So his brother and sister were giving him a hard time, weren't they? Look there, his brother's pulling his ears. <sighs> Liam was dealing with it by trying to practice hopping and trying to enjoy salad. He still doesn't look like he enjoys it. And trying to deliver eggs. Poor Liam, he's trying so hard, isn't he? Let's see if he's gonna be a successful Easter Bunny. You are a terrific piglet, said Liam's mom. We love your squiggly tail and your little black eyes and your snouty nose and your adorably triangular ears. You are perfect, said Liam's dad, just exactly the way you are. Just exactly the way I am, said Liam, is like a piglet who is going to be the Easter Bunny. Wow, he is really determined, isn't he? Do we even believe in the Easter Bunny? Asked Liam's little sister, um, said Liam's dad. We are more of a believing in oinking family. I believe in the Easter Bunny, said Liam. When Liam's grandparents came to visit, everyone said oink, 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 oink. Everybody except Liam. Liam said, hello, my name is Liam, and I'll be your Easter Bunny. <laughs> he is so funny. Oh, let's see if his grandparents go for that. You know, grandparents, though. Bunny, asked Liam's grandpa, did this piglet just say he's a bunny? The Easter Bunny, Liam exclaimed. Oh, said grandpa. He doesn't look like a bunny to me, said one of the neighbors. All the pigs and piglets stared at Liam. He didn't look like a bunny to any of them. Of course he doesn't look like a bunny, said Liam's dad. He looks like a perfect piglet. And he doesn't have to try to be anything else, said Liam's mom. He's our piglet and we love him. I don't know if Liam's going to still like that or not. Let's see. Liam felt loved, but he also felt sad. Everybody was sure he could never be the Easter Bunny. Liam knew they were wrong, but he wondered just a little bit. What if they were right? Hmm. Liam's sister said, this is the kind of problem, this is the, whoops, this is the kind of problem that is called heartbreaking. 
His little piggy heart is broken. Poor Liam. Let's see if he's going to make it or not. Baloney, said Liam's grandma. They just have the imagination of a kumquat, the lot of them. She shook her large head. Go put on your Easter Bunny suit, Liam. Then they'll see. Liam uh, blinked his little pig eyes and said, But Grandma, I don't have an Easter Bunny suit. Whoa. Let's see what she's going to do about that. You know these grandmas. Liam's grandpa smiled gently. This is the kind of problem, he whispered, that is called fixable. Liam hopped around his grandparents, his triangular ears twitching with excitement. You know how to make an Easter Bunny suit, he asked them. Absolutely not, said Grandma. We will order one on the internet. <laughs> That's the solution, right? While he waited for his Easter Bunny suit to arrive, Liam practiced hopping and enjoying salad and delivering Easter eggs. He got pretty good. The salad remained a challenge. He still didn't like salad very much. When his suit finally arrived, Liam tried it on. It was a little bit tight in some places and way big in others. One of the long bunny ears had trouble standing up straight, even after Grandma fiddled with the wire inside of it. See, it's a little snug across his tummy, but that's okay, isn't it? I think he's going to make it work. Also, it was itchy. Uh-oh. Liam looked in the mirror. He didn't even notice the string hanging down in front of his snout or the wobbly ear or the two long sleeves or the seam coming open a tiny bit across his belly. He even stopped noticing the itch. Oh my. Because what he saw in the mirror looking back at him was Liam the Easter Bunny. Oh my goodness. He has turned into the Easter Bunny. Liam smiled and whispered, yes. Off he hopped, delivering Easter eggs. Oh boy, is he happy. Look at that smile on his face. And everybody believed in him. And that is our story of Piggy Bunny. So I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It's one of my favorite books. And that's why I'm dressed like this, so I could kind of look like Liam. I might look a little bit like a pig, but maybe I'll look like the Easter Bunny. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you our craft that we're going to do this time. So cute. It's a little piggy bunny here. It's got his bunny suit and his bunny ears, and here's his face, and it, the zipper on the, t on the front, and he's got a little Easter basket with some eggs that you can decorate. So really all you need is maybe a black marker or crayon and some school glue, and maybe some crayons to color the basket and the eggs. And it's also got a little cotton tail because everybody needs a cotton tail. So that's what craft you can make if you'll come by the children's desk at the library and just ask for it. And we've got one for you. All right. Well, let's do our goodbye song. We're going to do our love grows song. And let's do it right now. Hit it, Miss Lorna. <laughs>
everybody. Have a great spring, and don't forget to be kind to each other. See you next time.